everyone. Welcome to London. I'm, uh, I'm out vlogging for the first time in a few months. It's been a while. I'm not, not entirely sure what I'm going to be capturing today, but I'm kind of, I'm in the mood to go out and shoot. We've got great weather and uh, I want to be testing some cameras out and um, just kind of get some footage, just see some things, capture it and just get used to using a camera again. It feels weird to have not been out shooting for so long but um, things are adjusting slightly with the pandemic and I kind of taken the opportunity. So I've cycled into Central. Uh, in fact, I walked all the way to the closest point I could hire one of the bikes. Um, and I took one of the, um, the, the Boris bikes into Central, cycled for about an hour and uh, now I'm here. I'm also out shooting with Matt van der Poot and uh, his friend Pete. And we're kind of just hanging out and getting shots. It's kind of it's nice to see people. It's been a while. By the way, this is being filmed on the Panasonic Lumix S1H. Uh, this has been loaned to me from Panasonic for, it's been a, been a few weeks now. Um, I've been using it a lot at home and I've been kind of like testing it and getting some test shots, but I haven't really used it out and about, which is kind of why I've come out today and why I brought it with me, because I want to get some shots. Uh, it shoots 5.9K, so I want to kind of see what the resolution's like. Um, 5.9K really isn't uh, a great amount of use to me. Uh, it's nice to have, but it's not the actual, it's not the be all end all, you know? So yeah, we're just gonna get some shots, hopefully get some nice scenes, and I hope you enjoy some of this, and let's uh, see what we can do. Welcome to the internet. Oh no, Hello, the internet. internet. <laughs> I'm not best to stay away from it now. <laughs> Uh, so, Matt, you've been on the channel a couple of times before, I think. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't already know, go and check out Matt's uh, YouTube. I'm going to. If you like time lapse, one of my new titles here. Have I got a channel for you? <laughs> and then we have just met this evening. Uh, yes, Pete, what's your sort of go-to top-line description? I am a street photographer, based in London, but a little bit of everything as well. A little bit of portraits, <laughs> but yeah, street photography. Nice. I'm gonna give a go vlogging on this S1H. So obviously I'm normally uh, vlogging with the GH5, which granted is a big camera already, but this is just a GH5 on steroids. <laughs> it's pretty big. Yep. <laughs> Have you, uh, you're attempting vlogging with your S1 today, right? I, uh, I haven't vlogged on this camera. I've had it for almost 10 months now, and it's kind of fell out of love with vlogging. It's, uh, it's definitely a challenge. I used to vlog on a 1DX2 though, so. Weight and size wise, this is a piece of cake. Yeah, you used to <laughs> rip that. <Yeah. laughs> Massive. Um, yeah, I feel like if I'm gonna vlog on here, it's probably gonna do wonders for increasing the pacing of my speaking and saying less. <laughs> because man, this is pretty heavy. Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm interested to know what it's like. Uh, I'm gonna have to switch arms. My God. Um, I mean, I've been trying for a different style of vlogging for a, a while anyway, and you may have noticed on the channel that I do a lot of placing the camera down and then talking to it. And I think it, it adds like a bit more sort of depth to what you're saying. Um, it gives me a chance to actually think and say something better than just, you know, waffling like I am now. But today is one of those days of just testing things out and seeing how it goes. Among other things that I'm testing today, I'm also out shooting again with the Hasselblad X1D2. Uh, so I've only really shot with this once in Morocco. Um, I gave it a good go on testing with some street stuff and found that it wasn't really fast enough to do any sort of fast moving things. Um, I had hopes that maybe there was a chance it could be, but it just really wasn't. However, in landscape scenarios and slower paced, it worked beautifully. Uh, and I love the images that came out of this. But again, I haven't had too much experience with this um, and it's been on loan to me and Castleblad have kindly let me hold on to it a little bit longer just because I haven't been able to shoot with it during the pandemic. Um, 
So yeah, we're just uh, getting some shots here. I've got the 30mm f3.5 on, um, so it's nice and wide, and uh, I'm able to get the full shard um, at whatever distance that is, maybe 250 meters away, 200 meters away, something like that. It works out pretty well. Matt, this is an interesting little riggy rig you've got. <laughs> yeah. What's going on here? We've got like a double uh, smartphone. Yeah, so this is a new camera from China that I'm testing for review. It's a dedicated little time-lapse device. Uh, it doesn't have a screen, just links to your phone. That's running for my test footage, and I just got the new S20 Ultra, uh, which has a 108 megapixel photo feature. So I want to shoot a time-lapse at 108 megapixels, but it doesn't allow you to shoot it with an interval. So I've downloaded an external app, which has a virtual or a digital overlay button like it, it emulates a finger or simulates a finger. So <laughs> the app triggers the trigger button for you. And I'm setting that up now. So you place it on where the button is and then hopefully wow. in a few minutes, I'll be running 108 megapixel time-lapse on my phone. Maybe you should uh, do a little contraption like a sausage on a wheel or something. Yeah, it's pretty much that, but then built in. <laughs> <laughs> So we were just walking along the Thames path, uh, or the Thames walk rather, heading back west towards like Waterloo Bridge and, and that sort of direction. That's not optical though, right? No, it has, sure. this is, so in photo mode, it's got the 10x. What, a 10 times lens? Yeah. 10 times lens, yeah. Right. Which is pretty nice. What's the resolution though? Is it on a smaller 12. sensor? Wait, wait, go all the way out again. Boop. It's 1200 then. And then you, it processes. Let's see that. And then does it like stabilize to hold it? Uh, I think so. Like, that's shit, but that is impressive that you can get that. Just testing out the low light on this, because this is about the limit I would probably use my GH5 without really considering what was pointed at me. So just seeing how it looks. Looking through the viewfinder, it looks really clean. Um, but this, I think, obviously it should be a huge step up. It's a much newer camera, so obviously a full frame sensor. Um, so low light capabilities from what I filmed outward have been great. See how it is on the vlog. I'm, I'm doing this clip more for me, to be honest. I accidentally just did that on f6.3. This is now f4. And uh, seeing how that looks, the focus box is uh, a little bit erratic, but hopefully it's holding it. Um, I'm using AF continuous. Uh, on my GH5 I actually set it to AF single shot uh, for the last year or so uh, and that's proved very very useful uh, but we're giving this a go and um, I'm also enjoying the tally light on the top that's uh, very useful. Later. See you, mate. Right. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice see you later. Meet you. <laughs> um, yeah, travel safe. See you soon. You're around for the next little bit. Let's uh, do this again. Yeah. I mean, I'm not it's going anywhere. <laughs> yes, I've got no nozzle. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. See you later. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm heading home now. So, this is a, as a video has probably been the most non-event type of vlog <laughs> on the channel. Um, to be honest. There's not really been any structure to it. This is a video that I've made for me as a way to test out a camera, but also just to kind of get back into the swing of talking to a camera and just, you know, getting back into the flow of things as best I can in the situation we have available to us. Um, obviously the world is a very weird place right now, but on a personal level, on a mental level, it's actually been great. Like it's been so good to just focus on something else just to kind of see whatever um, this has been the first time I've been in central London for months it's nice to have a change of scenery and um, to kind of just you know 
dedicate some time to the camera and just see some things and if you're in a similar position I definitely encourage you to do so if you can. I'm not necessarily going to go into a review of this camera, uh, the S1H. Um, in this video this was just a time for me to, to shoot with it so that if I do make a review I can have those experiences to share with the footage I got today. I am currently in the process of writing a blog post uh, talking about all of the camera brands that I've bought and used in the past because uh, I do maintain that I am agnostic to camera brands. I'll shoot with whatever product is best for me. Um, I'm not on any, you know, exclusivity or I'm not partnered with anyone. Um, I just, you know, love cameras themselves. It doesn't really matter which brand it is. Happy to be out making vlogs again. Um, we'll see, we'll see what happens, see how it goes. If you enjoyed this, make sure you do subscribe. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Isn't it weird? All right, I'm gonna head onto the train. This is the first time I've taken a train. So, um, I'll catch you in another video real soon. All right, thanks for watching, bye bye.